Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This week, I'm forcing myself to wear the Cartier Santos Medium every single day up until next Monday. Now, today is Monday, and why I wanted to do this was number one, it's my new watch. So I just picked this up last Tuesday from Watch Avenue, and obviously I wanna spend more time with it. But also number two is that I've been asked the same question quite a number of times. Uh, from people in real life as well as in comments and whatnot and it's about the Polished bezel here. Is it a scratch magnet? You know, like um, how would it hold up? And there's plenty of other videos out there on YouTube at the moment now uh, Minutemon from Carrot & Co has a great one years uh, before and after video on the Santos's polished surface and You know owning it for a brief period of time since last Tuesday, you know, I wore it on Tuesday Wore it on Wednesday for a bit, and then on Friday going out. And yeah, the bezel's already scratched to shit. If I gotta be honest, right, it's scratched to shit already. However, in lighting conditions like this, so in my room at the moment in the studio, the lights are off. I only have the LED lighting there. You can't see the scratches. You can't see it. Under most conditions, you won't be able to see the scratches, even on camera right now, and this is a great camera can't see the scratches. It's only in direct sunlight, in direct light, in uh, full harsh lighting conditions is when you do see the scratches and yeah I mean like mine's pretty scratched uh, the hell up already and it's only been a couple days so I'm gonna force myself to put it through its paces this week and then report back to see if it's gonna be any worse or if there's gonna be a significant difference at all or not. So join me this week, let's go. All right, Monday, starting off the week strong, the Santos gives me a burst of energy, basically. So waking up, I was actually looking forward to wearing it. Now, working from home, wearing the Santos, just for me and my own pleasure, right? Like I just look down, look at the time and just smile a little bit because it looks so goddamn good. Now, I was working from home, went out to the barber, got myself a Kim Jong-un haircut, which, uh, I mean, my usual barber wasn't there, but whatever. And went out to get some groceries. The Santos looked right at home on the wrist, right? Now, going back home, as you can see, bit of a break, playing with baby Pluto, the Frenchie. Uh, smart boy, look at him doing his tricks. And the Santos, yeah, totally fine, right? Like, it's one of those watches where you can wear it casually on any setting, but when you dress it up, it really looks good dressed up. I can't wait for Tuesday when I go to the office and dress it up a little, right? But at home, wearing my hoodie and my uh, sweatpants with Pluto, you know, I mean, it's it's just a treat and a pleasure to wear. Now, the Santos, it does scratch really easily, so I'm quite mindful that if I'm playing with Pluto, keep the face away from his claws because Pluto likes to jump on people and as you can see here he doesn't give two fucks about the watch <laughs> so that's that but um yeah that's the day Monday nothing else special just going to the gym and obviously I don't wear this the watch the gym keep it at home and uh that's pretty much the day let's go to day two Tuesday now, best thing about wearing the Santos all week is that I don't have to decide which watch am I wearing today, right? It's just force myself, wear the Santos, let's get it. Now, I don't have anything out of the ordinary planned in the office today. However, the ordinary usually entails many, many meetings online and uh, in person, right? So my calendar's already completely packed for the entire week. And yeah, that's, that's the norm, right? Now, heading to the office, the Santos is uh, such a treat to look at, and here's what it looks like in the ferry. The lighting just hits it just right. And here's a view from my office. As you can see, here's the city. And from time to time, I take the Santos off. Something to keep in mind, there isn't any micro adjustments with the Santos. So, you know, from time to time, I'll take it off. Not really often, it's just really when I'm washing my hands. Now, I popped into my AD to try on a Submariner. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty chunky, pretty big boy, pretty substantial on my wrist. Uh, from afar, you can actually see it's okay. It's kind of like borderline on my six and a half inch wrist. So from afar, it looks good. And with a three times zoom, it looks proportionate to my wrist. The lugs don't overhang. Now, on the opposite end, here's a uh, Oyster Perpetual 34. I'm trying it on for my partner. Uh, I think this is the perfect size for my partner, but um, yeah, just gotta wait and see if there's any allocation for a pink one. Now, heading off home, as you can see, back on the ferry, golden hour, the Santos is looking quite nice with the golden sunset. 
So Tuesday is a wrap, uh, very long day, but uh, yeah, tomorrow, Wednesday, during the day, I'm not gonna be filming much because working from home, it's gonna be the same as Monday. However, tomorrow I am going to Adelaide for my holiday. So a bit of a break, heading on to the plane at about seven o'clock at night and I'm gonna be bringing the Santos with me. Now, I considered bringing my tutor as well, just so I can have a bit of a two piece. So I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm gonna be doing some nature shit hikes not swimming it's too damn cold it's winter here in australia so too damn cold but nevertheless let's fast forward to wednesday airport time okay fast forward to 5 30 in the evening we're at the airport here now earlier today i actually bought the speedy the white speedy actually so um i didn't record any of that because this video is all about the santos now the airport is a funny place because it truly tests out the watch's capabilities as you know airports are rush rush everyone needs to get somewhere no one cares about your uh, space and uh, your watch will get dinged imagine walking through the airport terminals through the aisles and everything's quite cramped also you're carrying baggages and whatnot you're trying to you know obviously lift up your checking your carry-ons and yeah it's just an environment where the watch will get dinged up now my watch did get a few dings here and there, but nothing visible, right? Like, it's, it's to be expected when you're traveling on an airplane. So, on the flight, watching the Origin, um, yeah, I mean, not really a long flight from Sydney to Adelaide, only an hour and a half. And as you can see, Santos, totally fine. The guy next to me was actually wearing a two-tone bluesy, so, you know, he was looking at my Santos, I was looking at his bluesy, and uh, we both did the universal nod of appreciation. Now, that's Wednesday finished, let's go to Thursday. Thursday, chilly morning, as you can see, I'm looking like a Swiss banker with my Santos. Off to the city, I've never been to Adelaide before, so just walking around basically. Today is nothing special, nothing strenuous. Really just walking around with uh, the family here and exploring uh, Adelaide, which Adelaide's quite nice. There's a lot of arts, a lot of uh, free spirits, and here's a tag store. <laughs> but um, I didn't get a chance to actually see Watches of Switzerland. I know they have a boutique here, but we're not here because of watches. We're here to have a good time with the family. Now, Santos, foreground with the cold weather and the autumn vibes, it's quite nice. Now, here's the state library it's uh giving me harry potter vibes and the santos fits in just nicely it doesn't look out of place in all honesty like that's probably one of the best features about the santos is that no matter where you are no matter what you're wearing no matter basically your your background it doesn't matter it just fits in any lifestyle any scenario any setting it's just perfect as an everyday wear so going around the library is a lot of cool family stuff to do and as you can see santa's time moving on to lunch we're at a uh, yum cha which is quite delectable and just finishing off the day you know as you can see the sun's about to set uh we're just finishing the day off uh and yeah on to the next day friday now friday kicking things off you know after wearing the watch day in day out for five days straight i'm starting to care less and less about the bezel scratches as you can see you can see a bit of scratches on the bezel itself but the reality is I don't care anymore right like I, before when I first got the watch I was mindful of the bezel scratches but as you can see in the sunlight or well, not the sunlight but like the light itself it's totally fine right like in most lighting situations you don't even see the scratches and when you do see the scratches it kind of gives you that old coin effect so here in the sunlight here as you can see the micro scratches shows off that worn in look and it's quite charming man like it's quite nice the uh the the coin look where it's um looks like it's being worn but today nothing special just going out to the barossa valley uh, had some good food with my little family here my partner and her family and uh the <laughs> food was pretty expensive i'm not gonna lie it was like what 370 for four people but uh, nevertheless santo's with me you know it's good food good company good watch good wine and as you can see, absolutely demolished it. And here's the watch. In the lighting, it looks absolutely great, right? So, you know, can't complain. It does the job and it does it really well. Now, Saturday, 
just uh, chilling out, man. It's quite cold here in Adelaide, so I decided to go to West Beach. Uh, cloudy day, but not rainy, so it's fine. And as you can see, the Santos fits in the environment as well. So not going to show off too much for this day, just because I didn't really do much. Just went out to the beach, got some food, enjoyed the weather. And yeah, that was basically it. Now, going over to Sunday, I wanted to point this out. The one con that I've found on this watch, wearing it day in and day out, is that there isn't any micro adjustments. Now, when I wear the watch, I wear it fitted, but not incredibly tight. So what I mean by that is, as you can see, I'm putting on the watch, butterfly clasp and all. When I wear the watch, I do like to keep at least a finger's worth of space in between the bracelets. As you can see, the bracelet, it's not tight, so to speak, and I can fit my finger in. So I'm fitting in my ring finger. Here, I'm fitting in my index finger. Because there isn't any micro adjustments, what you'll find throughout the day is that your wrist expands. Because it's so cold here in Adelaide, it's quite comfortable most of the times. But when I go into a room with heating or in the car or after I've had a big meal or at the end of the day, the wrist expands and yeah, it becomes quite uh, quite a tight fit, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So as you can see, Sunday, exploring more of the Brossa and uh, that was pretty much it. And we're nearly at the end of the week on the wrist. So let me go back to you face to face for Monday's recording to summarize everything. So that's the week in the wrist done. Now to summarize everything, uh, I don't want to feel myself going to the airport and everything because that's just unnecessary for the drive. But to summarize the week on the wrist with the Santos medium, I've decided that this is going to be my daily watch moving forward. Okay, so reason for that is it's charming. It's quite a handsome piece. Perfect fit, perfect size for my teeny tiny wrist. And it's extremely versatile. Um, yeah, it's just suitable for me wearing um, a hoodie and track suits packing for the airport, but it's also suitable when I'm uh, dressed up a little bit to go to work or for a formal event. Now, the comfortability of it may vary. I feel like the fit in itself is quite comfortable. However, because there isn't any micro adjustments, what I find is that you may struggle to find a perfect fit adding a link might be too loose and removing might be too uh, tight. So keep that in mind. I would say if you're going for a Santos, definitely do try one out in store, but try it at the end of the day when your wrist is expanded, right? Because depending on the, how you like to wear your watches, I know a couple of Santos owners like my brother, he likes to wear his loose. I, as you can see, like to wear mine quite fitted. But in saying that, I still have a bit of room in case my wrist does expand and when it does expand it's not the end of the world it's not the most uncomfortable scenario to be in now the bezel the bezel in itself as i mentioned a couple days back i stopped caring about the scratches on the bezel i'm not sure if the camera is picking this up here but it doesn't matter i feel like if you're looking at the santos as a next watch purchase you might be limiting yourself because of the scratching aspect of the bezel i feel as if that don't limit yourself when it comes down to considering this watch just because the bezel scratches ain't that bad in most lighting conditions you don't even notice it it's only direct harsh sunlight is when you do notice it and when you do see the scratches it's extremely baller right like i don't know about you but for me i find it quite baller that you can look at it see that it's well worn see that yep this is my watch i did that and it's aging with me it's aging as i wear it and as time goes on so it's kind of giving me coin like kind of like when you look at a uh, an old coin that's the effect that it gives with the uh, micro scratches and my brother has the two-tone version and it looks like a gold coin look for me i got the silver coin and yeah it's this it shouldn't be a, a factor that um does put you off the watch now if you're ocd i mean fair enough but you know between you me and the gatepost i'm ocd as, as as all hell as myself i'm extremely ocd and i'm okay with it right so if that's the case i feel like you should be okay with it too but that's wrapping up the week fuck it's been a very long week and i can't wait to wear another watch but <laughs> in saying that i want to wear my Speedmaster because i just bought it it's brand new but um you know what it's been a pleasure wearing this and i got no plans in moving this on again this is going to be my daily moving forward 
And yeah, I'm extremely happy with this purchase. Uh, in all seriousness, I rate this a 9 out of 10. This is a 9 out of 10 watch. Uh, don't limit yourself if you're scared about scratches. Uh, very minimal downsides to this. Only micro adjustments not being present is the only downside, but otherwise, who cares, right? It's a fucking great watch. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the uh, week on the wrist. And I'll see you guys on the next one.